Have you ever pondered the relationship between tiny microbes and major pharmaceutical breakthroughs? It's a question that might have you scratching your head. But this is where the fascinating world of microbiology meets the cutting-edge industry of pharmaceuticals. Microbiology, the scientific study of microscopic organisms, is a key player in the pharmaceutical world. It's the secret weapon in the ongoing battle against disease and the relentless pursuit of health. Microbes, these tiny organisms invisible to the naked eye, are more than just disease carriers. They're also the unsung heroes of our bodies, maintaining our health in ways we're only just beginning to understand. In the pharmaceutical industry, microbiology is like the pulse that keeps the heart beating. It's the driving force behind the development of life-saving drugs, vaccines and therapies. Every pill you swallow, every injection you receive, has a backstory steeped in microbiology. Antibiotics, for instance, are the result of a keen understanding of bacteria, one of the many microscopic organisms studied in microbiology. By learning how bacteria grow and multiply, scientists have been able to develop drugs that can stop them in their tracks, effectively treating bacterial infections that were once deadly. Vaccines, another milestone in the pharmaceutical industry, owe their existence to virology, a subfield of microbiology. By studying how viruses invade our bodies and hijack our cells, microbiologists have paved the way for vaccines that can prime our immune system against these microscopic invaders. And let's not forget about the role of microbiology in personalized medicine. By exploring the unique microbiome of an individual, researchers can develop therapies tailored to a person's specific needs, revolutionizing the way we approach health and disease. Much of this advancement in the pharmaceutical field can be traced back to the work of some pioneering scientists. Their groundbreaking research has not only shed light on the hidden world of microbes, but also transformed the landscape of medicine forever. So as we delve deeper into the symbiotic relationship between microbiology and pharmaceuticals, remember that the tiny world of microbes holds the key to the next big breakthrough in health. Our journey begins in the 17th century with the Dutch scientist Anton van Leeuwenhoek. Imagine a world where the existence of microorganisms was unknown. That was the reality until Anton van Leeuwenhoek, a curious Dutchman with no formal scientific training, took it upon himself to explore the unseen. In his small unassuming draper shop in Delft, Netherlands, Anton van Leeuwenhoek was not just a cloth merchant but a self-taught scientist who would eventually become known as the father of microbiology. Now you may wonder, how did he earn this title? The answer lies in his invention, a simple yet powerful tool, the microscope. Leeuwenhoek's microscopes were not the first, but they were by far the most powerful for their time. With magnifying power of up to 270 times, they unveiled an unseen world teeming with tiny creatures, which he called animalcules. He was the first to see and describe bacteria, yeast cells, the teeming life in a single drop of water and the circulation of blood corpuscles in capillaries. His tireless observations and meticulous recordings of this invisible world were revolutionary. Unbeknownst to him, his work was laying the groundwork for a new scientific field, microbiology. It was in this small world of the animalcules that scientists would later discover the agents of many diseases, the process of fermentation and the principles of genetics. But Leuvenhock's contribution wasn't just about observation. He broke barriers in science, proving that remarkable discoveries don't always come from grand laboratories, but sometimes from a small draper shop in Delft, driven by sheer curiosity and tenacity. His groundbreaking work laid the foundation for future scientists and discoveries. Without Anton van Leeuwenhoek's relentless curiosity and his powerful microscopes, we might still be in the dark about the microscopic life forms that share our world. So the next time you look through a microscope, remember Anton van Leeuwenhoek, the man who first opened our eyes to the unseen world of microorganisms. Fast forward to the 19th century, we meet Louis Pasteur, a French biologist and chemist, Pasteur is the trailblazer who brought the invisible world of germs into the spotlight. His groundbreaking work on germ theory and pasteurization has been instrumental in shaping the field of microbiology and pharmaceuticals. Imagine a world before Pasteur, where people believed diseases just spontaneously occurred. 
Pasteur challenged this perception with his germ theory of disease, asserting that microorganisms or germs were behind these illnesses. This was a radical shift in thinking, a pivot from superstition to science. His work laid the groundwork for new understanding of disease, paving the way for the development of vaccines and antibiotics. But Pasteur didn't stop there. He also turned his attention to the problem of food spoilage. He discovered that heating liquids to a certain temperature could kill these pesky microbes, a process we now call pasteurization. This wasn't just about making your milk last longer in the fridge. Pasteurization has a far-reaching impact on the pharmaceutical industry. It's a method used to ensure the safety of many drugs and vaccines, preventing the spread of diseases and saving countless lives. Pasteur's work was so influential that it even reshaped societal norms, hand washing, sterilization of surgical instruments, food preservation. These practices, which we take for granted today, can all be traced back to Pasteur's research on germs. So when you sip your pasteurized milk or receive a vaccine, remember the man behind these life-saving innovations. Louis Pasteur, a man who dared to question, to explore and to revolutionize. His legacy continues to live on in every pharmacy, every hospital and every research lab around the world. In the grand tapestry of microbiology and pharmaceuticals, Pasteur's thread is a vibrant one, weaving through centuries and continuing to impact our lives today. His work has not only saved lives, but has also shaped the way we understand and interact with the microscopic world around us. Pasteur's work revolutionized the way we understand and fight diseases. His story is a testament to the power of curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. It's a story that continues to inspire scientists and researchers to this day. Continuing our journey, we encounter Robert Koch, another giant in the field of microbiology. Born in the mid-19th century, Koch was a true disease detective, pioneering techniques that revolutionized our understanding of infectious diseases. Koch's work on anthrax was groundbreaking. He was the first to demonstrate that a specific bacterium was the cause of a specific disease, a revolutionary concept in an era when people still believed in miasmas and bad air. Koch grew the anthrax bacterium in pure culture, demonstrating its ability to form spores and most importantly, showing that these spores could cause disease when injected into healthy animals. His work didn't stop there. After anthrax, Koch turned his attention to tuberculosis, a disease that was ravaging Europe at the time. Again, he was able to isolate and grow the bacterium responsible, Mycobacterium tuberculosis, in pure culture. This was a feat in itself as this bacterium is notoriously difficult to cultivate. But perhaps Koch's most enduring legacy is his postulates, a set of criteria designed to establish a causal relationship between a microbe and a disease. These postulates have been a guiding light in the field of microbiology, helping scientists identify the causative agents of countless diseases. In the realm of pharmaceuticals, Koch's postulates have been invaluable. By identifying the microorganisms that cause diseases, researchers can develop drugs specifically targeted to these microbes, drastically improving treatment outcomes. Koch's work has been instrumental in the field of infectious diseases. His techniques and principles from cultivation of bacteria to establishing causality have helped steer the course of modern microbiology. His legacy is evident in every pill we take, in every vaccine we receive, and in every life saved from infectious diseases. Koch's work has been instrumental in the field of infectious diseases. Our final stop brings us to Paul Ehrlich, a visionary in the world of medicinal chemistry. Ehrlich's story begins in the late 19th century, a time when the world of medicine was fraught with challenges and riddled with mysteries. Paul Ehrlich was a man of curiosity and fortitude. He was not just a microbiologist but also a hematologist, an immunologist and a Nobel laureate. But perhaps his most significant contribution to the world of medicine was his work on chemotherapy and his concept of the magic bullet. The magic bullet concept was groundbreaking. Ehrlich proposed that it was possible to create drugs that could target specific pathogens without harming the host organism. This idea was revolutionary in a time when many treatments were as harmful as the diseases they sought to cure. Ehrlich's work was primarily focused on syphilis, a deadly disease that was rampant during his time. He believed that he could find a chemical that would specifically target the bacteria causing syphilis, leaving the rest of the body unharmed. After years of tireless research and thousands of failed experiments, Ehrlich and his team 
finally discovered Salvarsan, the first effective treatment for syphilis. The discovery of Salvarsan marked the birth of chemotherapy. This was the first time a drug was used to target specific disease-causing organisms without causing significant harm to the patient. This revolutionary concept laid the groundwork for the development of targeted drug therapies, a cornerstone of modern pharmaceutical industry. Paul Ehrlich's magic bullet concept was not just a theory, but a prophecy. Today, we see his vision coming to life in the form of targeted therapies for a myriad of diseases, from cancer to autoimmune disorders. His work has shaped the way we think about and approach drug development, paving the way for safer, more effective treatments. Ehrlich's magic bullet concept is still a guiding principle in modern drug development. His legacy lives on, reminding us of the power of curiosity, perseverance and vision in the pursuit of medical breakthroughs. As we conclude our journey, let's reflect on the profound impact these pioneers have had on microbiology and the pharmaceutical industry. We began with Anton van Leeuwenhoek, the father of microbiology, who first peered into a world unseen and unlocked a universe of microscopic life. Then we delved into Louis Pasteur's work, which saved countless lives from the clutches of deadly germs. Our path led us to Robert Koch, the disease detective, whose postulates continue to guide disease investigation. Lastly, we looked at Paul Ehrlich, the magic bullet pioneer, who introduced selective toxicity, a concept that still underpins antibiotic therapy. These remarkable individuals not only shaped microbiology, but also laid the foundation for modern pharmaceuticals. Their discoveries continue to influence the way we understand and tackle diseases, demonstrating the enduring importance of microbiology in pharma. Subscribe for more because you won't find me later. Until next time, keep exploring the fascinating world of microbiology and pharma.